right guys this is the gt100 the breakout box obd2 and it's mainly amongst other things used to connect to to ecus and you can utilize the full can system and simulate it on the bench along with the obd side of things as well so this will simulate the key the dash and this we will connect the um, the ecu and then we will connect as well the uh, bdc module so it gives you connections for pretty much everything that you want to test on the vehicle so in the box there's these ECU connectors Right, I'll be hooking up all the connections with you guys. Right, I've had very bad reviews about this wall plug. Input is 90, okay, 12 volts. Okay, so I may have to substitute it and use it with my, uh, with my own. 12 volt and this is the big guy this is the big guy right so like I said I'll be walking you through each and every connection We've got the Godiag GT110 breakout box, the Godiag test platform instrument cluster for the BMW. We've got the um, FEM BDC. Right, so we are currently running diagnostics on the bench. Thanks to this GT100. So to play it safe, I've connected the ECU with my G-Box. Because these wires, they are kind of different. The wires that go into the pinouts, they are different from... from the layer colors that I have these are quite different so I would rather go with what's already there in my directions so that's the ECU I'll be running it shortly after this diagnosis this is a must-have tool for anybody who is in to some serious key programming so that's your all set up guys everything right so there we are 100 percent we've finished doing our vehicle diagnosis and i'm just going to quick erase you can see it's erasing and all these error codes most of them are well some of them are in the ECU right and some are in the FEM 
that's our fan right here so a very good platform highly recommend this highly highly recommend it right so we finished with the right so you can go into live data everything that you would normally do when you're scanning your vehicle so we can check the ecu information there we go okay um yeah so we'll come out of this show you want to exit yes so we'll just quickly go back to immobilizer All right, so we go email, accept, and it's BMW right there. All right, so we can go automatic selection and just get it to read our VIN number. There we go. That's our VIN number so we okay that it's decoding the fin and it's a 3 series 2013 f30 yes so we can look at the vehicle information the key type and the location of the OBD port. So we can do a quick email status scan, turn ignition on. Our ignition is turned on. And we click OK. And away we go. So now it's beginning to scan. You can hear the click from the fan BDC. So a number of keys is zero because I just reset this um i haven't programmed anything it's virginized literally so you see now it's doing its checks on the dme or the dde which is connected on the other end And there's two OBD outlets, one male, one female. So that enables us to go both ways, the end. And then from here, you just come from your eight and seven into this te test platform. And it fires up your BDC, your fan BDC, and it fires up. Yeah. A very, very good system, guys. Must have. Right, so we are done. So from here, you can add a key. You can do all keys lost. Whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so we escape, okay, and it's going to control unit, 
and let's have a look at the engine the engine right that's bench it's the f chassis it's a Porsche so we read we've got the EDC 17C50 so it gives us the pinout this is the main reason why I decided to to stick with the G-Box with my G-Box right so we can OK that and what are we going to do now read the eprom let's read the eprom right so you can do everything in one go everything is all connected in one go guys you don't have to do ecu by itself and then you come to your fem bdc by itself it's just all in one go so we can read the eprom Okay. You can hear the click. It's working. Establishing vehicle communication. Does take his time, so you can see the um, OBD light flashing. So we are OBD connected, all good. There we go. You had the click from the ECU, so it's reading the data. There we go. It's all connected. It's reading the data. We are reading the ECU EPROM. Right, we are not saving it. So we'll just cancel. But just to show you guys, and you can read the flash, you can read the ISN from here. How are you there? I'll cancel. Um, read ISN. No. Okay. I've had some very bad reviews about you know this 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 tool this this Godayag GT100 and I beg to differ this is a very good tool if you know how to use it use it right you get good results all the time very very good for you know doing ECUs when you're reading writing cloning so it's reading the ISN right I just got this tool this is not a promotion I'm not talking on behalf of Godayag Write data reading complete. Do you want to save the data? No. So there is our ISN number. So we OK that. And we can escape. 
an escape. You can read the password. Read password. So yeah, um, like I was saying, I'm not talking on behalf of Godai as a company. This is just a very personal opinion. I've paid this out of my own pocket. So I think I like it. Very, very good product. Even the, um, the mains plug that came with it, um, I've had a lot of bad things about, you know, about it, but look, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's three pin, it's UK, it's quite, feels good, robust, steady. So you can hear a little bit of a click. In the ECU and the chip password is there okay so that's it guys highly recommend this highly highly recommend get one yourself and make your work more fun, enjoyable, and easy. So, in another video, I think I will connect this to um, my other favorite tool, the X tool, IP nine hundred, and give it a go, because the X tool is not um, as good as the Altel. The Altel, you can do a lot of bench work with it some serious in-depth bench work whereas the x2 ip900 tends to be more um, of a tool that you use around the car you know with the car or bd system but now that i have this setup you know that works with obd on the bench this is the area now where i can really enjoy and utilize the X tool on the bench, the IP900.